G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. And today, I want to introduce you to this guy. This guy's name is actually Mick. And Mick is an Eclectus parrot. Belongs to a friend of mine who I'm lucky to visit and, and show you this guy. And I'd like to show you this guy because I think they're one of the coolest parrots probably in the world. So stick around. They're pretty dangerous. Hey, we're a Wicked Wildlife in town. This is Tully So parrots as a family are full of diverse and vibrant species, but very few of them compare to this guy here, the Eclectus parrot, for being a colourful bird. The males are this bright green colour with a blue tinge on their wings, and the girls are actually red and blue. They look entirely different. Now they're native to sort of the top end of Cape York Peninsula here in Australia, but they're really mostly found in places like New Guinea and the Solomon Islands and adjacent islands in sort of Southeast Asia and Oceania. And throughout this range, they're living in basically rainforest environments and feeding on things like fruits and nuts and flower buds and things like this. They're not exactly a seed-eating bird out in the desert like our cockatoos or something. While here in Australia they're a fairly unusual sight and only found a very small part of the country, in other parts of their distribution they're actually regarded as a pest by some people because their love of fruit can make them an issue for some small village farmers in parts of Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. Of course, the most interesting thing about these guys is that sexual dimorphism, the fact that males and females look so different. And in fact, there is no parrot on earth that is as sexually dimorphic as these guys. That colour difference, the green males and the red females, is actually so far apart that for the first hundred years of Europeans living in these areas, they actually thought the two were different species. It wasn't until the early 20th century that we figured out that these red birds and these green birds were just males and females of the same species. So it's pretty cool. The other thing that's particularly interesting about this sexual dimorphism is that generally in birds the more colourful sex is going to be the male. He's colourful to attract a mate. Now while this guy here is certainly pretty impressive and pretty vibrant green, when you see the girls red and blue they really stand out. And the reason why the girls are so colourful and the boys are so I suppose camouflaged is because of their unique reproduction technique. You see generally in parrots the, a pair will mate for life, one male and one female. But Eclectus parrots in the wild are fairly unusual in that a female will find a hollow and she will guard that hollow and basically never leave. Now, while she stays there, she'll be fed by several males that will all come and they'll be feeding her. They, in turn, will be visiting several females in their own nests. So the female wants to be this bright colour so that the males can see her when they're coming in and she can get a feed from them. The males, spending all their time going through the forest canopy, collecting food and visiting their girls, they want to blend in. I don't have to impress her because they don't have to fight the other males off. They're all going to get a go. So it's really interesting that the female is brighter than the male. It's pretty unusual in birds and I think it's pretty cool. So as you can see this guy here is about as tropical and exotic as a parrot gets and it's pretty amazing that we have them in Australia. It's really a little slice of New Guinea that we have up in the top end of Queensland and I'm pretty lucky to be able to show you this guy here today. But as always guys if you have enjoyed meeting Mick here or uh, any of the other animals that I hope to bring you guys over the next few episodes, please hit the subscribe button. If you enjoy the video, leave a like, a comment, all that sort of thing. And as always, guys, be nice to our wildlife. Have a good one and take care.